uh, in our view, I think it's one of the more resilient currencies. But of course, in next year, in 2022, growth um, numbers is probably going to be still weak. Uh, what we probably, some risk to our general view for renminbi uh, is in the sense that even though it's strong, it's not impervious. Our view, um, I think in terms of uh, strong goods export surplus, which has been supporting it, uh, I think there's limited tourist outflow as well. So I think if you continue to see depressed uh, services deficit, that could actually help to underpin the renminbi. And also there's still strong, however, there's still strong support in terms of um, uh, portfolio inflows into uh, China because of um, the uh, bond um, inclusions in the index indices, which actually supports the renminbi to some extent as well. But it's probably going to be very tight range, uh, still mild weakness, and then some support uh, in terms of portfolio support as well, in terms of flows. Uh, but in general, it's going to be a very tight range. We're expecting renminbi to range uh, uh, quite um, towards the end of next year, about 635. It's already currently about, what, 636? 7, 637 yeah. Levels. yeah. So, okay, we're, so we're, uh, seeing it, it's, we're seeing it trending downwards, towards 635, but mildly. Mildly. Okay, mildly. So uh, uh, reasonably uh, well supported uh, still. On the other end, you've got a uh, dollar at or near a top and likely to moderate from yeah. here. Where's that going to leave? Uh, is that any comfort for when you take a look at uh, EM Asian currencies, uh, currencies uh, like uh, the rupee or the rupiah? Yeah, uh, I, I, I would say in terms of the rupiah, uh, we, we could see a bit, like I mentioned just now, we're seeing uh, expectations of growth uh, catch up or in some of the Asian countries to pick up. Um, and if that happens, uh, there could be um, uh, further upside on Asian currencies. But biggest risk probably is in terms of inflation run-up, uh, surprise inflation run-up, leading to too rapid a rise in policy rate hikes. Uh, that typically would lead to some concerns of emerging market in the emerging market space. And so... We might see short-term spurts of uh, emerging market risk premium concerns, uh, risk premiums built in. And you might see rupiah sort of uh, seeing a bit of volatility, uh, especially given that it's an emerging market currency.